Yo, what is going on people? So this is the Zion Crane 2S, an amazing gimbal that I did a video about the other day. But this is how it comes with the old school motor blocking the camera position. So we are going to change this gimbal up and bring it into a 2021 style and lower the motor from here to here. Let's get into it. But first and foremost, welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. This is probably your first time here. So big up to you for clicking on this video. I appreciate it. And to the people that have gone down below and hit the subscribe button, I just like to start every video by saying thank you. All right, so back to the gimbal. This is how the gimbal comes. It blocks the rear screen. It's the old school way gimbals used to be set up just like the old Crane 2, not the Crane 2S. It's not a big deal to me because I do have the A7S three and it does have a flip out screen, but it would nice to just have the screen be viewable just in your purview as you're holding the gimbal with one arm there. And it also would give it a little bit more space there. So that's what we're gonna do here today. Real quick, future layer here, I've already done the modification, but I just wanna say a few things before we get the video started. So one, it does decrease the weight of the gimbal just a little bit by three ounces. And with the reduction in weight, it's also just a reduction in height and overall profile, right? Let me just show you in terms of, in relation to the Zhiyun Weebill Lab. So Weebill S would be a little bit bulkier than this here, but as we could see, I've, this is much smaller, but this is getting a lot more closer in size and you could still fly a lot more weight on this than you can on this. So you could actually travel on this. And actually the biggest takeaway for me is this right here. I can now fit it into the front pouch of my Wandered Provoke here and just slide it out. So before what I do is put it in the side pocket here with the where the tripod or water bottle would go. But sometimes I wanna roll with the travel tripod and I'd like to roll with the gimbal. And I was a little bit bummed that I couldn't get it into that pocket there and it was kinda of too bulky to go anywhere else in the bag. So with just that reduction there of the arm, you're getting a lot more compactness out of the gimbal, which is a big, big deal to me. One last major key that I do need to bring up there is there's a lot of speculation on whether or not doing this modification would void the warranty. Well, I had reached out to my folks at Zhiyun and they just got back to me as I was finishing up the edit and they said this modification will not void the warranty. So that should give you some peace of mind. Again, you just need to be careful in the things that we're gonna talk about, particular with doing it correctly and protecting that wire, but you should be still be covered there as far as that goes. So let's jump back into present Leo and we could start getting things done here and we'll show you the entire process. So I've never done this before. There are a couple other creators that have done this in different videos. I'm gonna do it here in real time. So there'll be timestamps below for the different steps that we have to do, but I'm gonna do it in real time so you could fast forward or rewind as you need to and you can actually see how long it takes me to do it. All right, so what do we need to get this done? We need to be able to take out the screws in the gimbal here. Zion actually, in the unit that I got, Zion actually includes these little Allen wrench keys here to use for the big screws and for the smaller screws. So you already have what you need in the box there. But the one thing that we're gonna need to be very, very careful about is there's a wire that connects the motors to the rest of the gimbal. We're gonna have to be really, really careful with that wire. That's what's gonna be kind of tricky here. So let's rest the gimbal onto its side and get to work here. Now, quick pro tip here. I found that if you keep the legs on the gimbal, that will help you support it as you put it down there. And then we need to keep it supported here. Let me just change my angle here. And this is what I'm talking about right here. You could keep the legs on, that way the legs can help support it. And then, so we need to remove these five screws right here for the cover. There's an extra one that's right up here that we're gonna have to take over us. These are the small screws. And then there's eight big screws that connect the motor. Once we get those off, we can take off the extension arm here. But again, we have to be careful with the wiring that's in there because we don't want to pinch the wiring. So let me start here by undoing these screws here. Hopefully we're in focus on my second angle there and we could get to work. So I'm going to loosen the screws here. At least go ahead and just vibe out 
to whatever music that I am playing in the background. Let me not be a little bit weird and keep talking. So the reason why I'm doing this in real time is if I could do this, then you could definitely do this because I am not a handyman by any way, shape or form. I don't really love tinkering with things. So if I could do it, you could definitely do it because I'm not the handiest of people. We got one screw out there, other one right here. What are you doing today? And maybe, maybe this video won't end up being in real time. Let's see how it goes. I might have to hit that fast forward button there just so this video isn't too boring. So step one is to get these screws out. All right, let me not lose these screws though. Should have got a screw holder. Just missing one, there it is. I do have to get this fifth one out right here because this piece right here, let me just angle this towards the camera right here. This piece right here, you're gonna have to take off and put back on once we connect the, the, um, the rear motor down at the 45 degree angle there. All right, let's get in here and boom, not hard at all. So that also lets me know that when I am putting these back on, I won't over tighten them because they didn't come over tightened. All right. So we're definitely gonna need one of those. All right, let's get to loosening. And then let's switch out. The bigger Allen wrench here is the one that you are going to need for the bigger screws here. So let's get to work on those, boom. And I'm gonna loosen them first and then undo everything there. And you wanna be gentle, you don't wanna strip any screws there because then you'll be SOL putting it back together. Oops, and there I go, not taking my own advice. All right, that's loose there. And... It's also a little bit weirder for me doing it at an angle here, just so I can show you for the video. But... Hey, anything for you guys on the YouTubes here. Oh, that one's a little bit stiff. All right, let's see how we're doing over here. Here's another problem. My hands are a little bit even sweatier because this room in the house does get a little bit warm. But if I turn the AC on, it messes up the audio. So if you see me sweating, it's not because it's hard, it's just because of the situation. And again, I am not the handiest of handymans. Is this even considered a handy job? Because we're still dealing with electronics here. But I have a Mac computer. I don't even go inside my computer. I'm not one of those type guys. All right, let's get to removing these screws here and see how things go. I'm just being careful here that the gimbal is still supported and that this won't flop apart. But let's start taking them out and see how it goes. So runtime on this video been so far, 13 minutes with no edits. Okay. 
Okay, screw one, big screw one out. Now the other thing that is a little bit that I will, you know what, I will reach out to um, Zion tonight. So hopefully by the time I have it edited and done and shoot the last part of this video, I'll be able to tell you guys, but I do need to reach, I did reach out to them to ask them if it would change the payload or anything like that. They said, no, it wouldn't change the payload of the gimbal. So you don't have to worry about it changing the weight or anything. I do need to ask if this will void the warranty which seems a little bit tricky because all the Zune ambassadors and stuff that are on their website have done this modification so a lot of times you see this gimbal on the website with this modification already done they should probably just start shipping it that way but i will reach out to them and so stay tuned till the end of this video and i will let you know in my conclusions if Zune said what Zune said about the modification and the warranty, if your warranty will still be good there, all right? So four screws out of here, already gone. Am I boring you yet? Is the music good? Hopefully, I think I'll have a good music choice in the edit. Shout out to Epidemic Sound on that music that you have there. I always like a good alternative hip hop track. If you guys need royalty few music for your videos or your client work, then you wanna hit up Epidemic Sound. They're amazing. There is a, there is a, what's his name plan? A creator's plan and there's also a uh, freelancer plan where you could get licensed music and you can add that into your budget for licensed music for your client work there that you want to um, get that done there. So link in the bio, link in bio, this is not Instagram, link in the description and you could check out the Epidemic Sound stuff there on my channel and help us make some more content here. We're almost done here and this seems to be helping with this being supported so it hasn't just flopped out there. You just be careful taking this last screw out. And trying to get my hands in the way and get this screw out. Maybe I didn't choose the best of angles. All right, that screw is now out and we have the eight screws out, that's out. All right, now let's just wiggle this out, okay. That comes out. This comes off, we'll put that here. So this is the wire that we're talking about here that we need to keep good there. I heard that this piece was not easy to take off. Let's see if we could get. So this is the difference in doing it live here because the people that have done it before did mention that it was hard to get this piece out but they didn't show it live. They just made it seem like it was super easy and they just figured it out. So, all right, intermission. I know I said we're doing it live, but I might have to get a little screwdriver here just to pry this out here real quick. So intermission will be back in a quick second. All right, I'm back. I have a little screwdriver here, but I don't want to dig in here too much, but this is the reason why we do these things so that we could, and this is the reason why I'm doing it in real time so that you guys could see how this goes. Can you just be a little bit careful there? What I ended up doing was just put in this end of the Allen key in there and it actually, once you got not even a little bit of pressure, it wasn't even deep down in there, you just had to get it out. So problem number one, solve there. All right, so now we're gonna put the gimbal upright. Oh, before we put the gimbal upright, step two is we're gonna take this piece off. So 
I don't want to wind up this cable too much, but we need to get, once you get that off here, this piece loosens up. Oops. Whoops. There we go. All right. So now that we have this off, we could stand the gimbal up and we see the problem that we have here. We need to get this cable. We need to get this cable and feed it down into here. There is enough space to do it. We just need to do it gently so that we don't strip the cable um, or pinch the cable there. Once we get that in there, we'll be able to get this up onto here, down into here. Let me change my angle on my second camera real quick there. I'm just trying to fold it. I'm trying to get it in here. As you can see there, I'm just putting my finger in there because we do need to fold the whole thing up in there. Just trying to tuck and go, tuck and go. And There we go. Okay, so let me see what it looks like on there. If you could see, I still have a little piece of wiring that is not perfect here, but I've gotten my roll motor back where I want it. But this little piece of wiring is still giving me a little bit of an issue. But let me just play around with that a little bit more and just see there. Tuck it in here. Tuck back up and then tuck back in. We should be Good to go there. Hopefully, hopefully that angle came out just fine there. Let me just kind of, oops, kind of show you. So this piece right here in this angle right here was a little bit harder to get, but once I just pushed the wiring down there, I was able to get that bond there. So the next thing I'm going to do is put this cover back onto here. because we need to put that one back on there. All right, one small screw now. All right, I know this is not sitting perfectly flush here. So I wanna make sure that we have that. Perfect there. I think that just might be a once we screw it in issue. All right, so then let's see here. I'm going to put these screws back in here and then we'll see if this thing lines up perfectly and we can get back to work here. So, how, whoop, get my, my big Allen key here and get these things back in. All right, what do you think so far? Um, hopefully, I have to see how this edits down. And I guess you guys will know before I do if I decided just to let the whole thing run here um, while I was doing it. And 
Uh, so that is tight. The gimbal is feeling a lot tighter there. Uh, and now this is actually, once I put those two screws in, this is already starting to feel tight and I still look perfectly aligned there. So let's just put in these last two screws and then we could get to work here. All right, quick intermission there. I lost my little light right here, which is not as important, but I also lost my second angle that was giving you the close up on the, what's his name there? But I think we got all the way to where I put as far as the second angle, we got here. Once I got these two screws in here, this is pretty tight. I'm gonna put the last screw in there, not tighten it too much just to make sure that everything doesn't wiggle around before we tighten it down. And then we'll put the camera on here and balance it and see how things work there. So, how are you liking this video so far? If you find this video helpful in any way, shape or form, please feel free to give it a thumbs up as that really does help all our content creators here on the platform to create more content like this for you. Not to mention I have a ton of stuff coming on this gimbal and the pro bundle as well as some cinematic setups and such. So let's get this one in and see how we roll. What else have you guys been up to? Hopefully everybody's out there being found well and doing a lot better than you were last year. All right. So I just wanna kinda see if this shakes here. Really this way. Tighten it up and see if we get rid of the shakes. All right. That's that. Do I have any jiggle in here? Nope, no jiggle in there. So we got, sorry, I'm just checking my angles here. So we got everything that we need to in here. Everything's looking good. And now we're at the angle that would want to be here at 45 degrees. Shooting on the A7S3, let me grab See if I can find another camera, grab to put on here, balance it and see. I won't bore you with the balancing unless you want a different video on balancing. Let me know down in the comments. Let's get a camera on here and see how we roll. All right, we got balance there. Let's turn it on and see how we roll. Boom. And then the one thing you're gonna wanna do, let's see there. Yep. The one thing you are gonna wanna do though is run the auto tune. Now we have perfectly functioning gimbal. That's in pan follow mode. That's in follow mode. Yeah. Look like things are working. Anyway, that's all today, folks. That was a long one, but I did want to bring you along for the ride just to show you exactly how long it would take and how this would work on a scale of one to 10. I wouldn't say this was hard at all. It might be a three again. I got a little bit sweaty and I'm not a handy person. If you like tinkering around the things, it's gonna be super simple for you and you could follow along. Even if you're not a super handy person, again, the Allen wrenches come in the package there and everything that you need to get it done is super straightforward. You just have to be careful with that wire and it was a little bit tricky getting off that one piece but eventually it just popped off there. So, won't ramble on because we've already had a really long one. If you're still here with me, thank you for being here. Thank you for rocking with me this long. I appreciate you. Hit the like button, it does help. Hit the subscribe button because there's a lot more to come on this gimbal. Stick around and I will catch you in the next video. Big up yourself. Peace.